Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Right, has social media changed the game as regards boxing? Yeah, I think it has. I think that certain people have manipulated it to such an extent that there's a small percentage, probably 3%, of people that are, are, that are having it off big time. They've manipulated everything on there. Does anybody believe who anybody is anymore on social media? No, I don't. I don't at all. I don't believe any of them with blue ticks at the moment because you can put a blue tick on your Twitter, I've been told. So no, I don't believe any of it. What I do believe though is that it started out as good for, 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 social, uh, for boxing, this social media game. But we've got that many people now running that many different accounts. It's, it's in a bit of a mess, isn't it? I think YouTube's the place to be because when you're a YouTuber and you get a YouTube license, which takes a bit of time to get, you've got to behave and play by the rules. You can't just go setting loads of accounts up from and just twisting and causing trouble. Because if you get pulled up about, if you get pulled up on it, you get shut down. And I've got people that depend on me, so. So I rely on other people sending me stuff and saying so and so said this and I rely on internet to look and I do look at social media but I look at mainly websites, read magazines and stuff like that but where social media is going wrong is this, who is anybody on there anymore, there's that many bot accounts and uh, people fake and people having conversations with themselves. We've got boxing promoters running people's Twitters. I know that because people tell me. We've got boxing promoters running people's Twitters and putting stuff out for them because they're not sharp enough. And so we're being pushed rubbish all the time, aren't we? And who is who anymore? Anymore? Does anybody know? Does Joshua even run his account anymore? We, it's all designed to get your money, the fans' money. Now, I've, I've got a solution to that, especially to all these fake accounts. Why don't everybody who wants to go on social media and set up these accounts pay one pound a year out of the bank? Just a pound a year. How many people are on Twitter in the UK? Is it eight million people, it says on here? Eight million in the UK are on Twitter. Make everybody pay a pound a year to use Twitter. If they don't want to pay, Hit the road, Jack. Hit the road. But they'll pay because they want to go on there. Pound a year. When Eddie Hearn's charging £25 for pay-per-view. You spend all night on Twitter afterwards. You'll watch a show, a show for four hours, but you'll do four hours on Twitter. After, talking about it. Pay a pound a year. Pound a year, it's nothing, isn't it? It's a penny every month, is it? Or oh, 10p a month? Nine pence a month. What's that? A penny every... A penny every three or four days. Of course you're going to pay it, aren't you? One pound a year. But to do that, you're going to need a cash card, like what I've got here. And to have that cash card, you'll, you'll have had to have ID to get with your bank. So let them take this out of your bank, this pound a year. And what we're going to get then, if anybody starts carrying off on Twitter, and you get bans like YouTube on here, we get free chances. If you mess up three times, you're off. Look at Ty and Boo, he got kicked off, didn't he, for putting stuff on social media, on his YouTube. They kicked him off, they won't put up with that. It says on here, kicked off for, for violating the, the rules. So, that's what somebody sent me. So if you mess about, you get kicked off, right? If you, if you don't want to play by the rules. And this is where I think that Twitter, especially Twitter, Twitter needs to do this and I think YouTube needs to start checking people as well because anybody and anybody can call themselves Kaylee Watts or I've got one here, Benny from Crossroads. I mean Benny from Crossroads, right? <laughs> I've got a guy here abusing me today, Benny from Crossroads. I mean you couldn't make it up could you? How's he, how's he slipped through now? Why can't it be uh, Fred Smith? And he's paid his he's paid his pound a year, so we know he's genuine because he's not going to start abusing people, is he? That's just what I think, anyway. I think that we should have pay a pound a year, and uh, it's all 
above board then and if you want to start carrying off like that you get kicked off don't you so that's what I think who knows maybe a pound a year and then pay and then if you get fined or kicked off you get a fine something needs sorting with it because who is who anymore on there does anybody know because I'm I don't I mean the, the, the one yesterday Ian Beale but he's calling himself Ian Squeal I mean it's all very funny and all that but these people need to go get jobs but I think it just needs sorting out across the board what is the nine or ten platforms if, I mean you've got to look at it like this some promoters are paying people in ticket deals to run all these accounts aren't they if they're running ten accounts on Facebook but there's ten platforms that's 100 10 times 10 is 100 so they're running 100 accounts all day these tech guys so you're running 100 accounts all day on an eight hour shift you can do a lot of damage we all know uh, uh, about the, the american political campaigns where they, they were doing it when they were employing people and blah blah, blah. well that's just same in boxing it does happen we've got people sat at home all day giving it this the, the liking everything that certain promoters put out and the disliking everything that the the the, the opponents uh, teams are putting out and it, it's going like it's gone like that hasn't it like that that's how it's gone over the last 10 year throw in certain promoters palling up certain people who've got loads of followers and all that they're playing the game aren't they but i think it's now out of control i think it is looking at now because nobody's believing anything anymore are they? we've just had the biggest announcement right in boxing that we've all wanted for years and nobody's believed it have they nobody's i don't see anybody casual a few casuals have believed it but it's not believable anymore is it fury joshua i mean it's not it doesn't have the same bite to it that it would have done a year ago does it or it would have done in a year from now if they'd have both been undefeated it, that all wilder Joshua thing did it for me where 60 40, 70 30, 80 20, he's undefeated, he's got four belts, he's got one belt, he's a gold medalist, he's a bronze medalist. That back and forward did it and we had that with Floyd and Manny Pacquiao didn't we and I don't want to see all that. I'm not prepared to put myself through that Fury Joshua every day emotion i'm not prepared to do it like i did for floyd mayweather manny pacquiao deontay wilder anthony joshua i don't want to do it we've got a puppet master sat at the top like that and he's our rear castle with puppets where are the puppets and he's sat at the top of his castle eddie earn he's playing everybody and i think it all needs looking at i think something needs sorting with it i don't know what but i think everybody should have to pay something to go on social media with the bank details so everybody knows who they are it'll stop the threats and death threats and people abusing people and people breaking the rules and getting kicked off and then just going and setting another account up on the mum's phone or something needs sorting with it that's just my opinion all right peace out don't have nightmares